Hey poker people, thanks for joining me for a quick little tutorial video. So a while ago, back in 2015, I created this video. It's called HUD Pop-Up Creating in Poker Tracker 4. And uh, you know, it, it wasn't it was a nine minute long video showing you exactly how to make a HUD a, a pop-up within Poker Tracker 4, going by the different positions, doing uh, street by street analysis or adding in street by street stats and all that stuff. But just yesterday, Jack Spooner uh, viewed the video and he left a comment saying, you can use positional pop-ups page to do this much faster. We went back and forth in a little bit and then I was intrigued by what he said. So I gave it a little test and you can use it to do this stuff so much faster. So originally, if you, let's go to pop-up groups. If you wanted to say, for example, my new steel pop-up right here, if I wanted to do this, I would have to create all of these different text boxes, add the text in myself, add all the stats, set each of the stats to the specific position. So while these are the exact same stats, you know, need to set it to small blind, set it to button, set it to cut off, that kind of thing. But what he said, and, and it's great that I know this now, you know, now uh, pop-up making is going to be a lot faster. Use the positional pop-ups tab up here. So you're just going to hit new group. We'll give it a simple name, test. Now let's say we want to create a three bet pop-up. So when you're playing against an opponent, he three bets you. You wanna see some specific stats that might help you to gauge how bluffy he is or how much he's going for value, what kind of range he's using, what kind of player he is in three bet pots as well. So this automatically, when you're doing the positional pop-ups, bam, all the positions pop up here. If you don't wanna see the small blind, just click it off, small blind disappears. Click it back on, shabang, there it is again. So we want to add some different stats. So let's just say, for example, just two very simple stats that we're just doing this as a test. So, whoops. You want to add the three bet preflop stat, of course, because you're facing a, uh, a three bet and you want to see what kind of range he maybe does, how bluffy he is, like I said earlier. Just double click it and you can give it your own text name, but I just call it that. And then let's say the other thing that you want to know, you want to know how often he folds to a preflop four bet after a three bet right here. So now we know by position how often he three bets preflop and then how often he folds to a four bet. That's great. That's easy. That was so quick and easy. We have everything that we want within within the pop up, all those all the different positions and those stats right now. But let's say you also want to know because you're considering going to post flop play with this three better. You want to know how how he plays post flop in three bet pots. Now there are specific stats for that. So let's just go to C bet. You have the regular C bet the flop or C bet the flop in a three bet or greater pot. If we click this right here, we hit OK. Once it adds it in, we see how often he C bets in a three bet pot. But that's not exactly helpful for us um, uh, by position, right? I mean, the total is helpful, but by position, not so much really. So instead of adding that one stat like this, what we can do now is we can convert this to, well, uh, let's actually delete this one first. We can convert this entire pop-up to freeform, you know, little warning message or whatever. You can't, you can't now take this back and go to a positional pop-up. But bam, it just now brought our test positional pop-up to the pop-up group so we can add some other stuff to it. So let's say we wanted to add um, right here the horizontal line separator. Now these are the three bet pre-flop stats, but now we want to add some post-flop stuff. We can go like this. Add text, add a blank one, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a sec. So now this work that I'm doing right here, this is the normal work that we would always be doing as we're adding, uh, add, adding stats to the pop-up. C-bet in 3-bet plus pot, we'll just call it. Give it a longer name whatever now and you could see as i'm building it right here i got the flop column the turn column or whoops we've got the flop the turn and the river column and then this line is going to be our cbet stats so we made it really quickly we did a lot less work it took like 20 seconds to add all this stuff right now this stuff is taking a little bit longer but in general when you make pop-ups this way you're going to be saving so much time and i really want to thank jack for uh 
Wait a second, it was Jack, right? Yeah, I wanna thank Jack for letting me know about this. So the rest of the pop-up creation is gonna go exactly the same. C-Bet flop in 3-Bet plus, C-Bet turn, just double clicking, C-Bet river, bam, hit okay. So now, all of these stats right here, our street specific stats are in there along with the positional. Now, just like anything else, we can go through I mean, however you want to do it, you know. We can go through and start formatting all the different stats and the look of the thing exactly how we want it. You see how these were automatically um, where they had the instances, um, where the show times and the opportunities. We could take that off. So now all we see is a percentage. We can do the same thing we always do. We can center it. We can add color ranges and all that stuff. But thank you very much, Jack, for, for uh, showing me how we can take those positional pop-ups and turn them into a regular uh, formatable pop-up group. And I hope this helps everyone else out as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I will catch you on the flip side after you make some killer pop-ups so you can start exploiting your opponents at the tables. Peace.